Okay, I've got the uh, speakers set up outside here in my yard, but I don't have them plugged in yet. And I was going to kind of briefly talk to you about how they plug in. I'm going to try putting down the camera on the ground here. I've got it on kind of this weird little homemade steady cam kind of situation. Okay, there you go. I think that will stay. So first of all, it needs to be plugged in. Howdy. Um, yeah, this is what I look like, just so you know. Um, just a regular power cord goes in the bottom here. The, the unit that has all the electronics in it has more stuff going on. It has the switch. But they both have these big holes here for the speak-on cable. So this cable here connects the speaker with all the electronics to the other one, which is passive. So this one, the way these work is they just kind of go in and then twist to the right. You don't even need to. Uh, you don't even need to actually stick your fingers in to put it in. To put it in. All you gotta do is find the hole for it, put it in, twist it to the right, and it makes a nice little click, and now it's in. Uh, to remove them, you do have to kind of stick your finger in, and I apologize for how tight the spaces are. I tried to make the hole pretty big without making it ridiculous, but I realize next time I probably need to make it a little bit bigger. So to, to pull it out, you have to pull back on this top. There's a kind of a little thing here on the top that pulls back. So you have to pull back on that and then twist it to the left. So if you can just kind of get your thumb or your forefinger in there, pull back on it, then you can pull to the left. But it's like I said, it's much easier to put in. And uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. There's that thing. There it is. And click it into place. And now the only thing that's left to do is to power it on. Pay no attention to the little marks on the switch. I had to buy a certain kind of switch and I really need to find another kind for the next build. So right now it's going to look like you're turning it off when you turn it on and vice versa. All you need to remember is just push it up and it's on. And you can tell it's on by the handy LEDs in the front. That the little uh, green one is for power and the blue one is for the Bluetooth connection. And right now it's blinking because I don't have it connected to anything and that's another thing I wanted to show you.